guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can get the Sense UI from the HTC Hero onto a Windows mobile device. Now, the Sense UI lets you have seven customizable home screens, and you may have seen this in our videos on the HTC Hero. Uh, so you can have one screen for email, one screen for weather, and a combination of things. You can add a variety of different widgets and move them around on the screen, although some widgets don't fit and you need a larger swath of space for. But it really lets you customize the way that you kind of interact with your device and what you see when you turn on your device. In Windows Mobile, here we have a Touch Pro 2, and we're actually running a skin on top of SVB Mobile Shell 3 that looks very, very similar to the, uh, the Sense UI theme. So we have seven home screens. You can flick your finger to go to the left and go to the right. Same kind of background here. And let me show you what I've done. So here I have a clock with an indicator for email, SMS, a calendar plus next appointment. That's my main screen so I can see where I need to be. To the right, I can see the weather, current temperature, or I can tap on that to get the forecast. This is all part of Mobile Shell 3, um, except for some of this part. Here I have a widget showing me my next two appointments instead of just one. I have a media player here, some shortcuts down here, and if we go to the other screen, I've got three pictures of people that I call on a regular basis. So kind of let's go through customizing one of these screens. So we go to the bottom right corner, click this button, and click Add Widget. We get a ton of widget choices, so we can go to Application or Contact, or even a link to show the Today screen. Um, we can go to email, we can do various indicators, such as the weather, um, we can put a big old clock, let's get one of these clocks, clock 16, let's see what it looks like. We can reposition it on the screen, it kind of snaps too, so that you kind of center it a little better, and let's go back and add some more widgets. We can add a next appointment widget, which shows up to, you saw one with two, let's show the one with five, this is really helpful. So we have a next appointment widget with up to five things, but now we probably want to take the clock off the screen so we can go to edit layout and sort of reposition this and remove it. And so now this whole entire screen is taken up for my next appointments. Let's go to the one to the left and customize it just a little bit more. Lots and lots of clocks. We can go to uh, different sorts of, of weather notifications. This is one of the smallest weather notifications, although there are a variety of other ones. Ah, that one's a little better. Much larger weather notification, and again, if you tap on that, you get the forecast. So a lot of ways to sort of customize all of these home screens, and it really brings that usefulness of the Sense UI to Windows Mobile with the skin. Uh, but the integration doesn't stop there. We can go down to Launcher and program a grid of 12 of our favorite programs. So if we go to the Up button and Edit, we can click a Plus button, go to one of our programs, and add it to the list there in the grid. Also, if we click the plus button, we get to the extended program launcher, which you can use to launch programs and change various system settings. So we'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how exactly to get this going. Uh, there will be a link in the sidebar to get you right to that post. But that is Sense UI, or one of the ways you can get Sense UI from the Hero onto a Windows mobile device. That's it for now.